So, we need to understand the sustainability issue that we have discussed in the previous lecture. We need to understand it in more detail. So, there are different ways if we are talking about a product, the development of the product, the manufacturing of a product, it can be done in different different ways. But what is required is to have the sustainable form of development. So, one of the considerations for such kind of sustainable development of a product is to have the adoption of lean production system. So, the method of production is basically lean, lean, lean means thin. So, lean and thin production process should be adopted. So, this basically means in turn that we need to have a cheaper product of higher quality developed in reduced time and in the consideration of by the through the consideration of lean and ensuring that there is reduced waste uh, disposal to the environment right so reduction in wastes reduction in wastes is the consideration the prime consideration in the lean manufacturing process or lean production process so basically this lean production process the concept of lean the concept of lean basically has its origin in japan the major global automotive manufacturer the company toyota basically adopted for their own production of their own vehicles adopted a manufacturing process which was known as the toyota production system tps so it was done only for within their company for basically having the advantages that i said at the outset but then that became kind of a model that became very popular globally for adoption across different industries concerned about manufacturing of different products it became very popular to ensure that at the end you have a product which is of high quality produced in reduced time and is produced uh, uh, you know it is high quality and produced in reduced time and is produced with minimal wastes wastes of all kinds not just the tangible wastes but wastage of time waste you know wastage of human resources and so on so improving profits having higher quality products produced in reduced time with reduced waste of resources is what is the overall goal of sustainability and lean production basically contributes to this overall issue of sustainability. So, what is this lean production system? So, it is all about eliminating wastes from the processes manufacturing processes in manufacturing industries for instance for, for having higher quality products. So, it has its origin in the Toyota Motor Corporation company as I said before. So, this TPS or this lean production system, it mainly focuses on addressing the customer's needs directly. Customer's requirement, customer is basically central or key to this lean production process. Whatever the customer needs, targeting that, eliminating the over usage of different different resources use whatever resources are precisely required eliminate all kinds of wastes and finally produce a good which the customer basically would be satisfied with more in reduced time and having higher quality this is this whole business of lean so if you look at the comparison of lean approach versus other approaches lean approaches basically look from the customer's perspective whereas other approaches basically look from the task and production perspective so this is this fundamental difference between lean and the non lean approaches so this lean production system has 
basically considerations of two different types of systems that were there. One is the Jidoka, where which talks about that whenever there is a problem, problem of any kind with the machines or in the process or whatever be it, if there is a problem stop the production then and there, stop producing defective products in turn. So, this is this Jidoka process and just in time basically talks about ensuring that each produ process produces whatever is exactly needed by the next process in a continuous flow. GIT or just in time, this is the short form it is also known as popularly known as GIT. So, where each process produces what is needed by the next process in a continuous flow, this is this just in time. So, there are different different other components of this lean production process and the TPS the Toyota production system you know. So, there are different considerations these are some of these, but like this there are many others right. So, we just need to understand the essence of this lean uh, production process. So, there are different types of wastes and these wastes I told you that will have to be minimized. So, these wastes are transportation wastes which talks about excessive movement of people from materials or information. So, you know transportation of different materials, transportation of information in excess that is not required. So, we are talking about the wastage of those kinds. Second is the waiting, uh, uh, the, the waiting type which is basically talking about the period of inactivity of people for material or information to arrive or to be able to use. So, everything should be available right then and there, everything should be available. You know it should not happen that the workers are waiting for something to arrive and the time gets wasted right. So, this waiting has to be minimized. Third form of waste is the motion which is basically non value added movement of people unnecessary movement of people from one point to another within the factory, outside the factory, across different locations of the same factory or organization or between different organizations as the case may be, but whatever is required you should have only that kind of movement non value added movement should be reduced. And inventory waste which is basically the cost of inventory such as raw materials, work in progress and finished goods. So, all of these things whatever inventory would be required should be used and not unnecessary inventories should be used built up and procured. Over processing doing more work in the product than whatever basically the customer finds value in. So, customer values customer basically you know talks about what the customer needs precisely and the production system should talk about only addressing the customer's needs, producing exact product or the service that the customer needs. This is what has to be done and over processing doing more work for the product you know having different different features which basically customer will not need etcetera are not desirable. Defects, defects can be in the product, in the service, in the process or in the paper works and defects of all kinds should be reduced and over production producing more product sooner than the customers requirement is over production and that should be also reduced. So, these are the 7 different forms of wastes. So, the overall lean system talks about this value, value streams. So, value streams are all the actions that are required for a product from order by the customer to the delivery of the product to the customer. And it is not just the product, I told about the product, it could be the service as well. So, basically starting from the ordering of the product or the service to the delivery of the product or the service is what the value stream basically talks about. So, there are three types of works to be noticed, one is value added, second is incidental and pure waste. And as you can understand from this that these are the different you know this is very much desirable value added. Value, uh, uh, you know value stream, then pure waste is not desirable and in between we have this incidental. So, there are 5 steps of work in the value streams, focusing on a single value stream is very much desirable, 
building a leadership team, scheduling the date and time properly for each and everything whatever the customer needs, working it that means discuss the value, value in terms of the customer requirements, precise customer requirements, discussing the value of those, work, working together, working together with all stake stakeholders, working together with the customer and so on, listing and prioritizing ideas and doing everything together is what is desirable in terms of offering the value to the customer. Schedule follow up is the last one. These are the five steps of work in the value streams. So, in the context of industry 4.0, lean production is paramount. It is something very, very important. So, this lean production in the context of industry 4.0 talks about four different considerations. Concerns about the integration of humans in the plant. Concerns about continuous impo improvement, concerns on the value added activities and identifying waste in the processes and eliminating them as soon as possible in an environment friendly manner. The impact of lean production system are in terms of offering what is going to happen if you are adopting this lean production system, you are going to have products of best quality produced in lower cost and with shortest time of production. These are the th three different impacts of production using lean. So, implementation of lean basically leads to the implementation of the full manufacturing system and it does not focus on just the adoption of the lean tools, but also it focuses on different other areas such as business requirements, operation improvement, operation of everything, operation of the machinery, operation of the product being developed, operation of the processes. So, overall production process basically production operations of the overall production process, people management and performance governance. So, implementation of lean has different requirements. First is the business requirements, which talks about setting the right objectives, clearing the strategy completely from a business point of view, business strategy should be clarified and the exact contributions should be also clear. So, what exactly is required, what has to be the contributions, everything should be very clear from a business requirement viewpoint. Second, the second dimension is basically the performance management dimension in terms of lean implementation. Here basically we are talking about people management, use of different KPIs to assess, KPIs means what? KPIs means key performance indicators. So, use of these different KPIs to assess the performance in the production process. Consideration of top down management and here basically we are talking about the use of KPIs to measure the performance in terms of productivity, quality of the goods and products, costs, cost of delivery, cost of production, delivery time, safety and so on. So, these are the different performance attributes or the KPIs that have to be considered from a performance management viewpoint in the lean production system. Operation improvement is vital, company should have clear knowledge about all tools of the toolbox and should not have massive toolbox with unnecessary tools. What precisely is required? Exactly adopt those tools in the toolbox and uh, then minimize the wastage in terms of all different resources and overall improve the operations. This is what basically Lean uh, uh, talks about in the other dimension. The other, uh, the another dimension of uh, uh, Lean production is basically people engagement and as this name says it basically to ensure that people the concerned stakeholders are all engaged and they should follow these different objectives learn do teach learn means having clear knowledge about the tools do means perform all the tools you know act with all the tools that are available and teach 
move into the role of a teacher to teach about these different tools. So engaging all these people in these three different directions is also very important. So why should a company decide to implement Lean? So this is basically this thing that I have been talking so this, uh, from the starting. So basically to uh, reduce the cost, to reduce the time of production and to improve the quality. So this basically would be the contributors to the overall continuous improvement, continuous improvement in the manufacturing process of the good for that particular company. So before we end, I would like to show you something. So we have talked about lean and we have seen the different considerations of lean production. So let us now look at it from another direction holistically what lean is all about. So if we are talking about the lean production system, it is required to have these different components. So these are the different components of the lean production system. Lean manufacturing, lean manufacturing, adopting lean manufacturing methods, ensuring, ensuring uh, total quality management, then adoption of IT solutions. to improve the overall production, reducing time, improve, improving upon everything in fact, virtual integration of different machinery and so on, having a lean supply chain. If required as much as possible to outsource to outsource uh, some parts of the, uh, the product or the components as the case may be if it is cheaper and can be done faster by some experts who are more who have more expertise uh, in developing uh, those components. And just in time is the another one that I have already mentioned before adopting just in time concepts and having flexible manufacturing. These are the different components of the lean production process, lean production system. So finally, we come to the references, here are the references that you could uh, go through in order to have uh, further understanding about whatever we have covered with respect to lean production system, lean production process and lean manufacturing. Thank you.